A new Legend of Zelda is among us, and I am so excited. This is my all-time favorite gaming franchise. I saw some teaser images from the trailer, but I've held off watching it until now. This game is called The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. When looking at these images, something stood out to me immediately. Does anything look at all familiar to you? Kowalski, analysis. To me, this has a striking resemblance of A Link to the Past, the current game I'm streaming. To the east of Hyrule Castle, there are boulders that resemble the same boulders in A Link to the Past. And north of the castle, it resembles the mountains. The only thing that really throws me off here is that Death Mountain is to the northwest. I'm wondering if they're combining elements from a bunch of different titles. Also, I've heard that there's some of the new abilities from Tears of the Kingdom in this game. I can't contain myself anymore. Let's go straight to the trailer. First of all, I have to say, I absolutely love the art style they took from Link's Awakening here. It is such a clean style. I love it. Come on. We get to play tennis again. Let's go. Yes, this is exactly what I was talking about. You see the castle and the boulders over here? Oh yeah, oh yeah. This cliff shot is very reminiscent of Breath of the Wild. Hello everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. Really? I was not expecting that. We're gonna be playing as Zelda? That's epic. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. To explain more, please take a look at this video. I'm actually quite mind blown right now. They are crumpling up the format that they had made for so many years and throwing it in the garbage. It takes a lot of guts to do that because they could just make cookie cutter Zelda games for the rest of time and we'd probably still love them. Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people, including Link. Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri Rod, and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. By waving the Tri Rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an Echo. So a lot of the stuff that I did see actually talked about this, and this reminds me so much of the Ultra Hand ability. That's actually pretty epic. Once you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Oh, that's Even genius. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Wow. Just like that. You can create that's wooden unique. boxes, old beds, and unusual things like water blocks. How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. What? Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. Really? 
Okay, even that's battles quite unique. will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. After doing so, they'll fight by your side. Really? Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key after all. What? I love that. This is going to allow for infinite possibilities. From what I've seen so far, I can actually see this being a really fun game. In a Hyrule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. I can kind of see why there's some buzz about this game. It actually looks pretty good. Finally, Zelda is the protagonist of one of these stories. It was a matter of time, but we're finally getting it. That new Echo ability is going to be insane in this game mark your calendars for september 26th or you can join my journey today i stream monday wednesdays and fridays at 5 p.m eastern standard time thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one make sure you subscribe and peace out